The CBC is a horribly bloated bureaucracy. I guess that wouldn't matter if it was a private broadcaster and it, it relied on subscribers or, or advertisers to pay the bill. But the CBC relies on you and me. It dips into our pockets every year to the tune of 1.3 billion tax dollars. 1.3 billion tax dollars to run the CBC every year. So then it does matter that the CBC has seven vice presidents, 10 directors general, and get this, five directors of finance. You want to know where the money's going in the CBC? You can't. You can't know. They're not required to divulge their annual financial statements, not in any great detail anyway. And there have been times in the past when the CBC had missing tens of millions of dollars from its budget. I don't know what the five directors of finance do. I don't know why one of them hasn't said, hey, you know, to save a little bit of cash, maybe we only need one director of finance. Now, how do we know all this about the CBC? Why is this news? Because this week, a federal labor arbitrator named Pierre-Georges Roy wrote a ruling about some labor matters at the CBC and divulged more about the CBC's hierarchy, more about its organizational chart than we've ever seen before. Despite the fact that the CBC gets $1.3 billion a year from taxpayers, it's not required to tell Parliament anything about its organizational structure. In fact, in 2014, when the federal government was considering a law to add sunshine to the salary list at the CBC, to divulge how much people at the higher levels were making, CBC staffers went to Parliament and said, oh, you can't do that. That would be an attack on Canadian democracy. They said it would be a, an attack. They have such an arrogant view of their own importance that they said it would be an attack on Canadian democracy to divulge their salaries, even though those salaries are paid for by taxpayers. There's a director of business and a director of operations. Don't know what the difference is between those two, but they have one of each. It is an enormous organization, which is increasingly of less importance every day, every week, every year to Canadians. In a recent study done by the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission, the CRTC, they discovered that only about 28% of Canadians think the CBC is vital. And only 40% of, the, of, of Canadians listen to or watch the CBC at any time. I haven't watched the CBC or listened to the CBC in years. I don't need their, their bias. I don't need their interpretation. I don't need to hear one more time what a marvelous man Justin Trudeau is, which is what the CBC seems to devote itself to. But it gets $1.3 billion of your money and mine every year. And much of that we found out this week is going to a huge, top-heavy bureaucracy. It's time to give Canadians some relief and wrap up the CBC.